today I'm going to be doing a teaching on um, you shouldn't be doing Halloween. You should be doing um, good deeds for the Most High. Let's start at Exodus 22 and 18. This is Exodus 22 and verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So that means that um, you shouldn't be dressing up any kind of costume that's scary like warlocks, witches, or wizards. Deuteronomy 18 and 9 through 14. This is Deuteronomy 18 and verse 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. So what the Bible is saying is um, that you can't follow other nations that's doing um, abomination to the Most High, and you can't um, dress up like um, scary, anything scary, or like a demon, or like um, the devil, or anything um, that's scary that scares people. Keep going. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that you this, or that use a divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. So what the Bible is saying is, um, you can't um give them spirits that um that um feels like them that they can do whatever they want, or they can um go to a Christmas party or Halloween party, or go to a haunted house. You have to teach them on what the Most High says, and you um can't let them um do any holiday that's um witchcraft or anything that's um doing with um um pagan holidays. Yep. So. So, yeah, you know how everyone be talking about Christmas and how it's about the Most High and stuff and Easter and how that's whenever the um, Jesus rose. And for Halloween, what can they say? They're just dressing up like goons and witches. That's nothing about the Most High. So they can't really do that cycle with this Halloween mess. Okay, so I I'm going to read more or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. For these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times, and unto the diviners, but... As for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do. The most, the most high is saying that um, that they didn't suffer you. He gives you a chance to repent on unto him. Go to First Corinthians ten and twenty. Okay, this is First Corinthians chapter ten and verse twenty. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the Most High. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. So what it's saying is that um, the, the, the Gentiles' um, um, pagan holidays are sacrificing the devils and demons, and the Most High doesn't want anybody, um, um, any of his children, to be dealing with that. Keep going. Ye cannot drink the cup of the ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of Satan of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? So that's I'm um, saying that you shouldn't follow the works of the devil or you or you shouldn't um, be with the devil. You shouldn't um, be um, his um, servant. You should be the Most High servant because you'll make the Most High jealous. So go to Acts 5 and 29. This is Acts 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles and answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So that's so. What they're saying is that they um, put um, 
God over men. They respect God over men.